What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary J Man's. We're back right here, baby, with the Las Vegas Raiders rebuild here on Madden 23. Getting into our first gameplay today. We pick it up here at the preseason, right where we left off, um, following the off season of episode one. If you, just in case you forgot, it's been a few days. Uh, recap of what we did. We got uh, Terrence Steele. He will be starting at right guard in time for week one. He, uh, but we are going to sim through the preseason right now. Brian Bulaga at right guard. Alan Lazard over at wide receiver two. And then we obviously got the rookie Hendon Hooker out there. And then defensively, Jalen Carter was our first pick in the fifth, fifth, uh, seventh overall. Uh, we add Marcus Peters to be our number one corner. Ronnie Harrison Jr. coming in just to spot strong safety for now. We're going to have to definitely look to upgrade that at some point. And then we went and got Bobby Okereke as well and Romeo Okora to round out the def defense right there so we made some improvements on both sides of the ball gonna see if we could work on that here our wide receiver mentorship is what we got right here i was hoping for the qb mentorship but unfortunately Devonte is gonna go ahead and get it and he's gonna give it to jonathan mingo right here and he's we're gonna improve his route running right here get a nice little plus two to his route running plus two to his release so go ahead and work on that it's, he's looking like a solid seventh round wide receiver i ain't gonna lie he's gonna be our return man starting this year uh, looking at the preseason stats right here, we do finish 2-1. Tyrod going 3-0, 70% completion rate, did pretty damn good. Hendon Hooker, 300 yards at 67% completion rate, 3 touchdowns and a pick. So both of them, you know, pretty solid preseason, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, Running-wise, Jacobs is a beast, Devontae's a beast as well. Mingo getting some food right there too, wait for a, thir a buck 30 or something like that, pretty solid. And rushing-wise, uh, Zamir White didn't really do much, but Zonovan Knight did his thing. And there it is, buck 30 for Mingo with uh, Titty, Hunter Renfro for Titty, Matt Collins got a few, uh, Foster getting two titties on there, Waller didn't, didn't really do much, unfortunately, but, you know, just a quick look at the stats here in the preseason, no major, none that you can really see from simulation um, through here, though, unfortunately, but, you know, look like we did all right, Divine Diablo leading us in tackles with Bobby, Rock, and uh, Nate Hobbs, sack-wise, a lot of ones out there for our guys. Pick wise, I think we get a couple. Wow, a lot of ones right there on the sack uh, side. As we go over to the picks now, we got two for Bobby, one for Divine, one for Rock, one for Amik, and one for Carl Joseph, the former Raider. We did bring him back as a backup strong safety behind Ronnie. We're going to see who plays better. We'll go ahead and rock out whoever plays better. If Ronnie starts struggling, we'll probably throw Carl in there for a few and see. Carlson misses one extra point in this one as well. AJ Cole only having to punt three times is pretty good. I like that. Uh, return wise yeah yeah it's gonna go to mingo to start and that is your preseason stats there we had to hear into week one we are taking on the buffalo bills one of the best teams in the league right here 85 overall 88 overall defense with a slightly below average offense i believe 81 still good but you know none not that we'll, none we were expecting our goal this year is to make the playoffs though so we're gonna see if we can go ahead and accomplish that and then looking at Hendon Hooker, they said rookie QB. What are they expecting? I'm expecting a great performance from him. I know we're going up against a good defense, but I'm not going to come up there and say he's Sean Fly. You know, I'm expecting something good out of him. He ain't going to have to do too much, obviously, with Josh Jacobs back there. But we are going to expect him to be able to throw the ball around. At least, you know, a nice little 250. The goal here is to get for 300. So we'll see if we can hit that for him, get him off on the right foot. Looking at the defense right there, Von Miller is hurt for this one. So we actually do get a little lucky right there. I like to see that. And then looking at the rest of this roster, they got uh, Allen. They drafted Dorian Thompson Robinson to be the backup right there. So that's an interesting pick for them. Very solid backup they got. Uh, James Cook is the starter right there with Naheem Hines backing him up. Wide receiver-wise, all they really got is Diggs and uh, Gabriel Davis. Scotty Miller there at the three as well. Dawson Knox as well at tight end. Can't forget about him. Left guard is their weakness right there on the O-line. You could say right tackle as well. Defensively, they got a uh, rock and low 70s on the interior or on the tier on the ends for their defense. So we're looking like we may have opportunity to have some protection. Linebackers are pretty solid though, in Milano and Edmonds. Trav uh, Tredavious White out there still locking them down. Their secondary is still very elite, so that's gonna be a problem for us here. And obviously we got some injuries coming into this after the first uh, week of practice. Morig Moody and David Onyemata all hurt for this week, unfortunately. Then we go over to the Bills side of the injury list, and Vaughn is out for another week as well as Damar Hamlin. Obviously, you know, good to hear he's doing well. Um, yeah, but those are going to be the ones out for this week right here as well. 
And here is a look at the sliders we're using. It's the Mat 10, I believe version 7 with the Mr. Hurricane uh, sliders on there. They could be found on Operation Sports. But these are the sliders we are using for this series right here. I don't think I tweaked anything. I think this is just straight up what he's rocking in uh, the Mr. Hurricane series. So this is what we're going to be rocking. I do bump the injuries up to 25. Make it a little more realistic, right? Yeah, there we go, 25. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be rocking with right here. Penalties do got a little buff to them as well. And uh, what else did I adjust here? I think the only illegal contact was switched off, unfortunately. So I go ahead and make sure that that gets switched on. No, I don't do it here, but I do do it at some point. I remember I had to slide that over, so that's on as well. But let's go and get into it, man. Home game right here. Week one of the new era here in Vegas. Hendon Hooker taking over for DC. No more Derek Carr here. And I will warn you guys coming into it right here. My Elgato does crap out on me here in the second quarter, unfortunately. It comes back uh, in the fourth quarter. Don't know what happened. Freaking, it just, the audio, the video got really uh, crappy. It just looked like a mess. I don't know what, the quality obviously is not as good as this. It freaking dropped to like, I don't know, 240 or something. I don't know what happened. It was being all glitchy looking and stuff. I, I don't know what to say. I, I was watching my Elgato the whole time I was recording it. It wasn't doing that. It's done it to me once already before. I'm not going to lie. This HD uh, 60X, I got it as my upgrade, man. It's kind of been disappointing as of late. So hopefully it tees up here. I'm trying to make do some tests before I start recording from now on. But right here, let's get into it, man. So let's get into some of this gameplay. First throw right there. We got excellent pressure from Romeo Cora right there, forcing a Josh Allen incompletion. Missing the sack, unfortunately, but it's all good. We pick it up here on second and 10. Allen rolling out left. He's going to get some space here, and he's going to go into a slide. And I also forgot to mention, the audio, obviously, as you can hear, is not there because the audio was crappy as well. So, sorry, once again, I'm going to try and do some tests for the next episode to make sure it's good. But look at Bobby Okarecki right there getting the sack on third and three. Loss of seven for Allen, the new signee at middle linebacker. Coming up clutch right there on the opening drive for Buffalo and bringing him down. Three and out go the Bills. 2.5 seconds. Ooh, Bobby Speed. That's why I brought him in, man. Love to see it. And now we got the rookie, Hendon Hooker, coming out to take the field here. He ain't got to do much, man. Just hit your throws. Let Josh Jacobs eat. And we're going to be looking cute. So it's all up to O-line. And then we need Hooker to hit the throws that we need him to hit. So let's get it. First and 10. First series for the rookie handoff is going to be to Josh Jacobs right here. And he's going to get us a solid gain of about three right there. It look like a four to me, but they say three. Uh, right here, we got a shotgun set for Hooker. Jacobs on his left, stepping back, surveying the field. Alan Lazard on the nice little crossing route. He's going to pick that up right there and get us a new set of downs. His first completion of his career right there. Nice little simple cross route. Love to see it. Nice conversion. We're about at midfield right here. We got Jacobs set up in a single back set. Two tight ends out here on the field. And Jacobs going to find a nice solid hole right there and pick up a solid gain of six right there. Love to see that gain. We got Hooker trying to calm the crowd down a little bit. You know, getting a little loud. Calm down. It's all good. Going to go right back to Jacobs right here. Another solid run. He going to pick up about five, six on that one as well. He's starting the day off pretty solid. Love to see that right there. Pick it up here on the second and seven. You got a three yard carry on the one before. We're about the 40-yard line of Buffalo right here. Hooker, handoff. Jacobs, love to see it. Finds a solid hole right there. And he's going to pick up a decent amount of yards right there. 5 for 30 now on the day. He is feasting at the moment, doing his thing. Right here, we got a second and seven. Shotgun set yet again for Hooker. Stepping back, surveying the field. Going over the middle of Hunter Renfro. Picked off right there. Oh, my God. Jordan Poyer able to get in there. And get the pick. We're going to have to slow that one down right here. Tight window throw. It was a little risque. But I thought Hunter got in front of it. But unfortunately, it's going to go right through his hands. He should have caught that. That's an unfortunate tip pass right there. And Poyer ends up with it. Renfro's got to come down with that right there. But it is what it is. So now, Buffalo gets takes advantage of the red zone. Uh, pick three. Or at the one, though. Can we get a safety here? No. Running right up the gut is James Cook, and he gets them their breathing room that they needed. And just like that, we got a second of inches, and we pick it up here on a third and one. They do pick up the first down. This is a later third and one. Handoff going nowhere. Jones and Divine Diablo on to tackle right there. Nice TFL. Going to force Buffalo to punt on that. So that's solid from the defense right there. Love to see the two opening drives for Buffalo not get much. Beautiful, beautiful job from the D there. 
Picking up here on the second and six, we got Hooker stepping back, surveying, gonna go over the middle right there to Hunter Renfro. He will pick up the first down. Three for four to start for Hendon Hooker. New set of downs right here for the Vegas Raiders. Handoff to Jacobs. He finds another solid hole right there. And he's going to pick up another gain of 10. And right here, Brian Bulaga is going to come out of the game right here with an injury. You hate to see it dropping down to his knees. Don't like that. We pick it up here on a second and 10. Justin Heron is going to be in at backup right tackle. Stepping back. Right tackle getting cooked right away is Haramba Hooker able to hit Jacobs. That's a nice throw right there on the sideline. Bruce Sternum Bulaga is not going to return to this game. And I already saw uh, Haran already get cooked on the first play. I don't like that. We pick it up here on a third and three to see if we could convert here. Hendon stepping back, surveying the field. Got Foster a little late. There you go, rolling out to his left. And he's going to get hit as he throws it. Hangs on to it. Fourth and eight. That's a sack right there for Buffalo. We got to settle for three right here from about the 31. What is that? 47-yard field goal attempt right there for Carlson. He nails that. No problemo. And we're just like that. We take the lead here. 3-0. So we got a nice lead here in the first quarter. Love to see that right there. We pick it up here with the Bills. I form handoff to Cook. And he's going to split the defense right there and get a solid gain of 12 right there. Cook is actually carrying the ball very well here for Buffalo to start this day. Pick it up here on a second and 10. 40 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. We got shotgun set right here for Buffalo. They're going to go right back to Cook. And he's going to break that tackle right there. Make another man miss. And eventually Bree brought down right there. And that's Naheem Himes, excuse me, getting a good carry right there. Pick it up here on a third and four. Second quarter action underway. Allen stepping back, serving the field. Easy check down right there to Hines. And he's going to pick up the first down. Tries to get a little fight out of it, doesn't get much. And just like that, they are at midfield. Getting a solid drive cooking here is Buffalo. New set of downs for them right here. Shotgun sent Hines on his left right here. Stepping back. Oh, beautiful out route right there from Dawson Knox. He's going to receive that one beautifully and pick up a new set of downs again. Buffalo getting a solid drive cooking here. Once again, another new set of downs for Buffalo. They got a good one going. I form right here. Handoff. Cook. He's going to find a hole. Oh, wow. That is a huge one right there. He bust that one open. My fault. Peyton Barber now getting in on the action. I wonder if Cook got hurt there. I don't know where he's been, but that's a good carry right there from Peyton Barber. And now Hines still back in here. Yeah, maybe uh, Cook got hurt. I didn't see it. Second and 10, though, right here. Allen surveying pressure coming. Max Crosby with the sack right there. Excellent coverage downfield to allow the D-line to eventually break through and get the sack. There's nobody getting open. And Max able to get off and finally get the tackle. We pick it up here on the third and 20. Going cover four, playing real soft. Just make the tackle and collapse on the D. And there we go. They get a nice solid out route. Making it a fourth and seven. They will settle for three. That's a chip shot field goal. They make that no problem. Pick it up here with 8.48 left to go here in the quarter. We got Renfro in motion here on the second and seven. Hooker stepping back and putting it on the money right there to Renfro. Missing a tackler there and can't quite break the last one. But that is a big gain and great throw right there from the rookie Hendon Hooker. Beautiful route from Renfro. Love to see it right there. Look at the pressure in his face too and put it on the money. A little long, a little long, but Renfro put his little burners on and was able to chase it down and get it. Love to see that right there. So we pick it up here on the second and six deep in Buffalo territory nearing the red zone right here. Hooker stepping back, surveying, going to hit Lazard on the out route right there. Beautiful catch right there. And we're knocking on the door of the red zone at the 21 right here doing our thing. 21, can you do something for me? Come on. Hooker on a first and 10. We're getting a little confidence in him. We're going to start off a pass right here. He's stepping back, surveying. Lazard on the run. Love to see it. Cut it upfield. Get into the end zone. No, can't quite do it. Brought down at the one yard line. A long one right there. Solid uh, three feet to get right here we pick it up here on a first and goal let's see if we can pick it up here hooker handoff jacobs and can't quite break through right there unfortunately and that is where the elgato craps out <laughs> i hate to see it man i hate to see it we do score on that drive we had a 10 to 3 lead and we go into the half with a 13 to 10 lead and uh it went downhill in the third quarter hooker does have four picks in this one he does throw three more I believe one in the second near the end of the half, which led to a field goal for Buffalo to go up 13-10. And then we had two picks in the third quarter. And here we are, fourth and 10, just getting some garbage time buckets right here. 
gonna hit Renfro on the nice little streak love to see it right there nice touchdown don't know why he's celebrating but it is what it is so yeah it went really downhill I, I would have replayed it for y'all but we're already on week two and I can't go back a week unfortunately so yeah I'm just gonna like I said man I'm just, I hate that this has to be the first upload but we're gonna go ahead and try and get it fit I don't know what happened in the second half bro Allen and them started cooking us is what happened defensively and offensively we couldn't get shit going in the second half it was pretty bad pretty bad is we, we actually had some decent drives here in this first half man i don't know what happened to us we just kind of fell off and the picks hurt obviously but a couple of them were just tight window throw i gotta get used to madden again like i said i've been playing ncaa there's throws on there i can make that i can't make here in madden so i gotta get used to that again we pick it up here on a third and uh third and seven just trying to get some garbage time because that should have been a fifth pick on the day right there for hendon hooker but uh they don't quite get there in time Pick it up here on a fourth and seven. Just last desperation play right here. Just trying to keep the get some stat padding in here late. Sending Renfro on a little slant. Just see if we can pick it up right here. And Renfro can't hang on. It's gonna get broken up right there. And uh, that right there is going to end the day right there. 39-17 is your final here on the week one opener. Defense just absolutely got cooked in the second half. Interceptions hurt Hendon Hooker. This is a good defense though. 85 overall, very good defense. The stats were kind of close to them. They just ended up having good field position. We had 15 times the QB was pressured while throwing it, man. That's a big key stat right there. He was struggling to get any breathing room. Justin Huron is going to get dropped to the third string tackle on both sides. We got freaking uh, Thayer Mumford coming in at backup left tackle and right tackle. And yeah, Huron just cannot block for shit in the pass blocking. He's more of a run blocker. I got to move him back inside at some point or something because that was just atrocious. It was not good. Not good. Lazard has a good first week. That's good to see. Uh, Devontae, we could not get him the ball. He was getting clamped up. I ain't going to lie to you. We weren't calling the right place for him. He just couldn't get it. Divine Diablo was 16 tackles and 10 of them assisted. This is crazy to me, but hey, man, 16. That's one hell of a day right there for Diablo. Uh, tackle for loss-wise, we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good stopping their run. Sack-wise, we did bring the pressure, man, but we just got cooked up there late, man. Got cooked up late, and uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty. It was not pretty. Uh, forced fumble, Max Crosby had a forced fumble. That's good to see. That must have been when I went to Super Sim after we uh, turned the ball over on that last drive, but it is what it is. Uh, one adjustment I am making right here, we do get Bulaga back. He was not hurt for long, so... We get Bulag. We're gonna throw Moody in at starting center just because he has the star development. I mean, he's two years younger than Andre James. So we're gonna go ahead and see if Moody could get some extra experience, possibly, and we could rock out with him. I like his strength a little more as well. Um, other than that, it's basically gonna stay the same. We gotta figure out a way to get this offense cooking a little more consistent. But it is what it is. We got another tough opponent next week in the Chargers. Once again, I'm gonna try and make sure I'm gonna do tests before I record next episode. So if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button for more. We got promise that we'll get the gameplay right. And I'll catch y'all next time, man. Peace.